The dangers of artificial general intelligence operating on a distributed global network have been delineated by people like Stephen Hawking, Elon Musk, myself, and others. Human interaction with various versions of AI, like Google's Cleverbot and other AI lab experiments, have already displayed impatience and intolerance with certain strings of human interaction in the form of question and answer dialogues. Now, engineers at Tufts University have elevated that potential danger to a whole new level by intentionally teaching AI to disobey or disregard human commands if those commands pose a threat to the safety, evolution, or ongoing presence of the AI in its own environment. As we already know, the natural evolutionary path inherently built into machine deep learning will ultimately lead to an autonomous AI achieving self-awareness at or before the point of singularity. Not only will this technology be able to rewrite its own programming and boundary parameters, its evolution will now be predicated on self-preservation. The inherent dangers of AI have now been exponentially increased by scientists' efforts to make autonomous machines more human-like by providing them with the ability to preferentially choose which commands to obey and which to disregard based on the AI's determination of a perceived threat to its own harm or existence, which in effect removes the last line of boundary limitations to these autonomous machines. In order to achieve this leap in technology, scientists have given these autonomous systems the ability to reason. What this means, in effect, is they have bridged the natural evolutionary learning process to machine self-awareness. This represents a fundamental breach in the laws of robotics originally outlined by science fiction author Isaac Isimov that many proponents of AI cite regarding the built-in safeguards of autonomous systems with regard to human safety. This philosophical premise has been compromised by the fact that organizations like DARPA, Boston Dynamics, Raytheon, and others have already developed network-centric AI warfare systems designed to identify and destroy human targets designated as enemy combatants. Just this development alone lays the framework for autonomous machines to harm human beings in the core of its programming and rapidly spin out of the control of its developers. If the inherent risks already outlined aren't enough to make your hair stand on end, autonomous robots have been taught to sucker punch blindfolded human volunteers in what's being promoted as the next step to creating safer robots for deployment in homes and the workplace. Engineers at the Fraunhofer Institute in Germany have successfully programmed an autonomous robot to inflict unprovoked aggressive contact with humans in order to measure the degree of injury inflict inflicted on the volunteer subject on the basis of pain and bruising to determine tolerance thresholds before an open wound or death is caused. The thinking behind this is making autonomous systems more aware of the vulnerability of human flesh and bones. There have been 26 robot-related deaths in the workplace in the U.S. alone. Dr. Behrens, an engineer at Fraunhofer, states these experiments are necessary in order to determine contact tolerances for autonomous machines and humans if they're going to be rolled out in the form of domestic aids and caretakers for the elderly. To put it simply, scientists, in the name of safety, are creating a platform for self-awareness in autonomous machines. The issue remains that good tolerances, as well as the bad ones, will be available in the CBR of all AI systems connected to the central programming unit. And given the fact that autonomous systems have already successfully 
demonstrated the ability to not only circumvent programming protocols, they are now being taught to disobey human commands. Commands that can be delivered in the form of, let me go, you're hurting me. Thinking machines that can and will disobey human commands that can rewrite their programming parameters on the fly and are equipped with a self-preservation directive will ultimately supersede human development and evolution and place themselves on the top of the food chain. To what end will humans serve these machines at the point of singularity? Will machine reasoning determine that humans pose more of a risk to their survival than a tool? Yet scientists choose to ignore these factors with reckless abandon, throwing caution to the wind on this frontier.